recuperation environment in medical institutions on chronic pain in elderly patients and analysis of protective measures. In this presentation, I will be mainly cover five parts, introduction to the research, experimental methods, experimental result analysis and discussion, and finally the conclusion. For the introduction part, I will introduce the research background, state of knowledge, and study purpose. Acute pain is a kind of feeling with important value, which can help the group to re react quickly to prevent damage and recover losses. Chronic pain is a common symptom of a variety of diseases, manifested as a kind of physical and psychological discomfort. It is a kind of unpleasant physical and emotional experience, usually recurrent, protracted. As we might know that chronic pain is a common symptom of elderly patients and it also has a significant impact on the physical and mental health and quality of life of elderly patients. There have been many studies on the diagnosis and the treatment of chronic pain and the various alternatives. Therapies have also been studied and discussed. This paper analyzes the factors that influence the cause and impact of chronic pain, not only considering a patient's nursing intervention, but also considering the patient's medical environment. Elderly patients are the high incidence of chronic pain. Chronic pain significantly affect the quality of life of the elderly and effective covalent um, environment can effectively improve the protect chronic pain, which has been widely studied. For instance, Zhu Chenwei et al. in 2020 designed a questionnaire to investigate the relationship between pain degree, pain impact degree, and quality of life for elderly patients and other elderly people in community. The results shows that negative correlation between them was statistically significant. The study purpose of this research is to identify factors of effective covalent environment that can improve and protect elderly patients from chronic pain. In terms of experimental methods, it can be divided into three major parts, index selection, development of questionnaire, distribution, and retrieving of questionnaires. Based on the previous research results, the evaluation index system of chronic pain of patients and the covalent environment of medical institutions was established. As shown in the table, the questionnaire is divided into two parts, covalent environment assessment and chronic pain assessment, with a total of 32 indicators. Among them, the covalent environment contains three kinds of indicators, which include landscape maintenance, equipment and facilities, and artificial services, dependently play a role, independently play a role in chronic pain. Chronic pain is a complex and systematic concept all pain is composed of psychological components which can be expressed in different aspects. Since the gate control theory was put forward in 1960s, pain psychology has been well developed. Researchers have been able to consider the psychological model of pain from a microscopic perspective observing the psychological factors and then turn the concept of pain into psychological, uh, physiological, behavioral, uh, society complex structure. On this basis, the theory can be constructed. The main part of the questionnaire can be formed by transforming the above 32 indicators into items uh, the item selection of this questionnaire is a total of five levels of indicators of Likert equidistance scale. That is, the results that need to be evaluated and judged by the interviewees are the indicators that are different among options, and the expression mode of each option is unified, and options are very poor, poor, medium, good, and excellent. 
the form of the five level scale is in options and it changes to one to five when the data is entered. So the direction of the evaluation index is positive. In addition, the question now should also indicate that the preparation, uh, distribution, and data utilization of the question now are only for academic purposes and do not collect, retain, or disclose the personal information of the interviewees. The questionnaire was distributed to patients with chronic pain in medical institutions in Nanjing, China. For this reason, the questionnaire are printed on paper, which were distrib distributed in geriatric ward of a hospital from August 20, 2020 to October 4, 2020. Only the inpatients in the hospital were distributed. The source, purpose, and the content of the questionnaire were explained to the patients on the spot. The questionnaire were distributed after the patient's acknowledgement, and they filled in the questionnaire on the basis of fully understanding the content. After completion, the questionnaires were collected on site. A total of 300 questionnaires were distributed and 286 were collected on site. Uh, with the recovery rates of 95.3%, based on the collected questionnaire, 274 valid questionnaires were obtained by eliminating blank questionnaires, unfinished questionnaire, and defaced questionnaires. The effective rate of questionnaire was 95.8% and the overall effective rate of questionnaire recovery was 91.3, which was relatively high. Based on this, the information of the questionnaire is input and the input data is used for further processing and analysis. The experiment result includes four major parts reliability and validity analysis, descriptive statistics, hierarchical regression, and structure equation model. As shown in the above table, the Chrome bar alpha coefficient of the questionnaire data reaches 0.757, which is at a high level, indicating that the reliability of questionnaire data is good. Then the validity analysis was carried out and the results of validity analysis are shown in the table below in which the KMO value reaches 0.864 which is in an excellent level and the validity test is passed but in each index the common value of B45 is too low so the model is excluded. On the basis of reliability analysis and the validity analysis of the questionnaire data, descriptive statistics are carried out for the sample data to understand the overall characteristics of the data. The results are shown in the table. There are great differences between the average and standard deviation of different indicators. The evaluation results of indoor landscape are generally low and the average value and standard deviation are generally low, which shows that the level of landscape maintenance in medical institutions is relatively insufficient so that patients have a relatively unified poor evaluation. The evaluation of equipment and the facilities is signif significantly higher and the standard deviation is also higher which shows that the equipment and facilities in medical institutions are relatively sound and in good condition, especially the rehabilitation facilities and the fixed facilities, which shows that both of them have been better allocated in medical institutions. The patient's pain emotion performance is relatively poor, especially the anxiety and the fear emotion performance are prominent the standard deviation is high. The patient's pain feeling performance is also significantly poor. The patient's specific performance is relatively poor. The patient often lose sleep and need to use dice pain drugs to help sleep. 
the patient's daily behavior is better, especially the patient's shopping and leisure activities can be carried out normally, and the standard deviation is very low, which shows that the daily activity of patients can still be guaranteed, but it is difficult to complete common, simple activities such as walking, which shows that loneliness plays an um, extremely role important role in the development of chronic pain. As shown in the table above, A2 equipment and the facilities is the first indicator of the model, which further shows that medical institutions have relatively complete and developed medical devices and facilities for elderly patients to meet the needs of diagnosis and treatment and affect the pain feeling of patients specifically A21 bad use experience and A25 rehabilitation facilities have strong significance which are closely related to pain feeling in 99% confidence and the coefficient is negative which shows that a good ward and rehabilitation facilities environment can significantly improve the pain feeling of patients especially the influence of bad use experience more significant. Combined with the result of descriptive statistical analysis, it can be seen that the significant influence and the high coefficient level of this index reflect that patients' dependence on interpersonal communication activities is relatively strong, and this kind of connection will directly affect patients' pain feeling. As shown in the table above, X3 has a significant effect on Y and the situation of artificial service will significantly affect the chronic pain of patients, which is significant in 99% um, confidence comparing the result of structure equation model and hierarchical regression. It can be seen that Equipment and facilities have a more significant impact on patient direct pain, especially the bad use experience and other indicators can significantly improve patients' pain perception. However, from the perspective of overall research framework, the complete chronic pain should be put into the overall cognitive model and the corresponding index analysis result shows that the overall impact of artificial services on chronic pain is more significant, which cannot be effectively described by direct feelings and expressions of patients. Yet, the equipment and facilities that had significant impact on pain perception in hierarchical regression was relatively weak in structural equation model, but still, significant in 90% confidence base. This result also shows that equipment and facilities are still a kind of factors that have a significant impact on patients' chronic pain. Summing up the above empirical analysis results, we can see that firstly, chronic pain is mainly affected by service attitude. Secondly, it is also affected by rehabilitation and sports activities of patients. Finally, chronic pain of patients is often manifested as fear, anxiety, insomnia, unable to go out for a walk or any other symptoms in view of such characteristics. The recuperation environments of medical institutions can be improved and uh, improved by corresponding measures so as to provide some protective measures for patients with chronic, chronic pain. In conclusion, first of all, by improving the quality of nursing intervention, especially the service attitude of service staff, we can effectively improve the chronic pain symptoms of patients so as to help patients to improve the quality of life and provide patients with a certain interpersonal environment. Secondly, the rehabilitation activities of patients are not only